Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me Nikki here and I am really excited about this video because I feel like this can apply to so many of us. Um, it's how to spend the holidays alone and really celebrate the holidays, not just about coping, but about enjoying the holidays when you're alone. Um, it's something that I know about being a military spouse, so I wanted to share my tips with you and I hope you will find it, I hope you will find it helpful. So let's jump right in. Okay, friends, so when you think of spending the holidays alone, you know, some of us or most of us think that that's kind of a sad thought, but it doesn't have to be that way. You know, time with yourself can be great even during the holidays if you do exactly like you would do if you were being going to be with family. Plan a beautiful holiday. And so I want to share with you some tips on how to plan a solo holiday. Uh, just to give you a little backstory, you know, being a military spouse, you know, oftentimes Mike was deployed um, while, you know, I was in England or while we were away and I would have to spend the holidays alone. Um, oftentimes, you know, when you're overseas and you're working, um, you have a, you know, it's just a courtesy thing that you would switch holidays with your coworkers because a lot of people want to come home for the holidays. And so it's an extended trip because you're going so far. And so it's not always where you, everyone can just go home on the holidays. Some have to stay back. And so on those times I had to stay back, I had to cure what, you know, really create, create ways to really enjoy the holidays. So let's jump into my tips. So friends, my first tip is to one, actually, Plan to do something with someone else. Having that small interaction with another family member, friend, just it, it really can um, change your whole mode and vibe for your holidays. It might be that you necessarily can't go home for the holidays or you, um, you, know, you don't live around anyone that you can do something with, but you can still incorporate that um, kind of one-on-one -on -one situation or group situation. And here's how you do it. One, you can have a cookie party where or cooking, a Christmas cooking session via Facebook. During the pandemic, my mom and I would do that. We would get on FaceTime. We would have the perfect mount on our kitchen cabinet. I know the perfect mount to use if you wanna do something like that. I will put it in the link down below. But it would allow us to still cook together, even though she was in her home, you know, several states away and I was in mine, but it's just a fun way to still have that Christmas experience with the family and you can't be together. Also, you can have brunch with a coworker or brunch with a friend and have it as your kind of Christmas dinner or Christmas celebration. And it just allows you the opportunity to engage and to have that engagement, that holiday engagement with someone in the event that on actually the Christmas day, you will be alone. Another thing that you can do is plan to learn a new skill during the holidays. This can be such fun. It can be really a beautiful time to do it. You can have your Christmas music on. You can be learning how to crochet or learning how to paint and really just focusing in on something creative and something fun. It really, really can make your holiday experience beautiful. And it's the perfect time of the year to do it because you're going to be alone. A lot of times in the other parts of the year, you're so busy with work and running, but during the holidays when everybody's shutting down for Christmas, it's the perfect quiet time to really take advantage of learning French or like I said, learning painting or calligraphy or doing something just kind of out of the box that you've always wanted to do. My next tip is to create that perfect holiday playlist. I tell you, for me, music is everything. And especially around the holidays, as soon as I start hearing those Christmas tunes, it just gives me that warm and fuzzy feeling inside. And so I would just create that beautiful playlist that puts you in that great mood, that great, great spirit for the holidays. You grab your eggnog, you have your music, you've already planned what activity you're going to do. And that becomes the focus of your holiday. A, a lot of times, if you wanna make yourself miserable being alone, during the holidays, focus on not being with family and not, you know, not having anyone around you. That is a, a surefire way to be miserable. And you don't want to do that. You want to flip your thought process, flip, flip it and say, okay, this is an exciting time. I'm going to be able to, to crochet with my eggnog. I got my Christmas playlist together. And because of my other tip of you've already had that engagement, whether you've cooked over FaceTime or whatever the case may be, you feel a total connection and a, a warmth and a celebration for the holidays. Like you've truly celebrated the holidays. 
So my next tip is to find a great book or a great movie and series. That could be a surefire way of having a beautiful holiday season because one, you're going to really just be able to immerse yourself into uh, a season, maybe a holiday movie uh, that has several episodes or maybe you can get into that movie that you've always wanted to just be able to sit down and watch. It's also a great time to watch movies that are nostalgic to you, things that you uh, may not have watched in years because number one, you don't have the time, you've been running around. For me recently, I have been loving watching 80s movies. I, I have watched so many 80s movies that I have not watched in years. And it's just, it was so fun to go just remember these movies, but then just to sit back and watch them and then connect them with memories I had when I was a teenager. And so that's something great that you can do. If you're an 80s child, create um, those movies that you used to watch and then make sure that they're on your stream. And that's what you can do during um, the holiday season. And I'm telling you, I'm doing it right now. And it's so, so fun. Another tip, friends, is to schedule a time to talk or call that friend that is the one that just keeps you laughing. Do you have that friend that every time you call, you guys are on the phone for hours because they are just making you laugh or you guys are just talking about things that are just um, bringing you joy? You know, that happy friend. You know, you want to schedule a time in your holidays to talk with that happy friend. And on that note, you want to be very just very intentful about who you immerse yourself around. You want to keep yourself around positive people. You want to keep your mind on positive thinking. You want to um, try to create those scenarios where everything revolves around joy and the joy for the holidays. Because that will that will help you change your mindset about being alone, alone for the holidays. Because actually, friends, being alone for the holidays is, it, again, I go back to saying it doesn't have to be a negative thing. So friends, my next tip is to help someone else. You can go to the homeless shelter, um, you can volunteer um, for a variety of things, especially during the holidays. And that is such a great way to take all of the emphasis off of you and what you feel like you're dealing with or the problems that you have going on and really just help someone else who is in need. It's a great way, a great way to spend the holidays. And I would think about kind of reaching out now early to organizations to see how you can can help because a lot of them start right in that late October, maybe in some mid October, they start prepping and scheduling and all of that for the holidays when it comes to volunteers and things like that. So definitely find an organization that connects with you and feel free to just kind of help someone else for the holidays. My next tip, friends, is to adopt a military member. You know, as a, my, I'm a military brat, so I, I, my whole life I grew up military. I, not only was I a military brat, I married military. So um, one thing that we always did is we always adopted um, an airman or a soldier that was away from home because what happens is a lot of times, uh, you know, our military, they're away from home and they're single, they don't have any family, they may have just reached that base so they really don't know anyone. And so definitely think about going to the um, air, you can go to it's um, with the Air Force, it's like the Airman Readiness Center. Um, you can contact your local military bases that are near you. Let them know what you're trying to do, that you just want to adopt a, a airman for the holidays. Also, most of the bases and and post have chapels and churches. That's a great also resource to reach out to and let them know that, hey, I would love to invite one a, social, um, a military member over for dinner if you don't feel comfortable doing that. Say, hey, I would love to kind of host and take them out or spend Christmas with someone who just necessarily doesn't have um, someone to spend Christmas with. Um, truly don't underestimate that because I would just remember as a child, we always had um, two or three um, soldiers at the house every holiday that my dad was recruiting that had just moved there or didn't know anyone and oddly enough those those men and women are still in our lives today they're now they're they're much older now which is is, is a beautiful thing but um they're retired they're but and and it's just we have created memories together and we're like family because i remember as a little girl these young airmen and and now that they're they're like all my uncles and things like that so it's really nice it's really nice so think about how you can um and kind of reach out to the military families to see how you can help in that way. My next tip is you can take a vacation. During the holidays, it is a great time if you want to get away and go to uh, the islands or you've had that dream vacation that you wanted to do and you have the budget and the time, I would say take the time and go on a vacation. It's a beautiful way to really celebrate the holidays and it's really something that you can knock off your bucket list. 
And friends, I do have another tip. The other tip is to really be a part of the festivities. So if all of the family has gotten together in California and you're in New York and you can't make it, have them set a table for you. Have someone put their phone at the table and face it out so that you feel like you're sitting at the table. There are so many um, uh, uh, um iPhone stands and, and uh, mobile phone stands and things that you could feel like you are actually sitting and involved at that dinner table. So think about, you know, if I can't be there, at least they can have a digital setting set up for me so that I can be a part of the meal. You can cook your meal at home. They have their meal there. And actually we did that one Thanksgiving with my family. I actually sat at the table with the family and I had my stuff and they had their stuff. So definitely that's something that you can do if you want to feel like um, you're there with the family, you're still involved with the conversation conversations and it could be a lot of fun. So friends, I hope that these tips have helped. And if there's one big, big, big tip that I wanted to just get out there from this video is that change, we have to change our mindset of how we think about being alone during the holidays. It truly can be a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm talking from experience. I have had those times where when I first had to spend holidays alone, it was really sad. And I had to just kind of really check myself and say, you know what? This does not have to be sad. This could really be a beautiful, beautiful moment because you know, there's those times when you're in the house with all the family and there's pure chaos. So really just enjoy um, this holiday and really celebrate it as, as, as if you're having 25 people over your house. So have fun. And I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And before I go, if you have not subscribed, definitely subscribe to the At Home with Nikki family. I would love to have you and click that like button if you enjoyed this video. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.